Can you believe we are in the first week of July? Oh my goodness, I feel like it was just like the beginning of June. And now we are in July. But guess what? We are still learning about faith trusting in what you can't see because of what you can see. And we're still on our focus series, taking a closer look. Well, are y'all ready? Y'all ready to get this day started? I am. Alrighty, let's go ahead and do our North Point Declaration. How do we do that? We stand up, we put our hand over our heart and repeat after me. I am a child of God. I am loved, adored and accepted by my Father in heaven. I am forgiven and free. Sin has no hold on me. I'm an overcomer, more than a conqueror, full of the Spirit of God. And I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Holy Spirit, open up my eyes to see, my ears to hear, my mind to understand, and my heart to receive everything that God has for me today. In Jesus' name, amen. Yes, all right. So now it's one of my favorite parts of the day. We're going into worship. Are you ready? Cause I am, let's go. Hey guys, are y'all ready to learn our brand new bottom line for this week? You ready to learn it? Let's go. Jesus is a gift to everyone. All right, repeat that after me. Jesus is a gift to 
everyone. Great job, you guys. Y'all did that so great. Are y'all ready to learn our brand new memory verse for this month? All right, let's learn it. Whoa, Polly, where have you been? Um, around. Okay, are you ready to help me teach the kids our brand new memory verse for this month? Yes. You ready to but learn it? What? What? I want to teach it. So you want to teach it to me and the kids? Yes! Okay, so we're following your lead. Yes! Okay. Are y'all ready? We are ready. Repeat after me. Okay, I'm ready. God's grace. God's grace. Good job. Okay. Has saved you because because of your faith of your faith in Christ in Christ. Good job. I did that good, right? Your salvation. Your salvation doesn't come. Doesn't come. From anything, anything you do, you do. It is, it is God's, God's gift. gift. Ephesians, Ephesians two, two, eight, eight. Yay! Polly, you did such a good job. But you know who did even better? The kids did amazing at home, didn't they? Yay! Great job, kids. Be learning that memory verse at home to where you could be ready to say it next week. Yes, see you next time! Bye! Bye. Hey, everybody! I'm Erica, and I want to tell you about my favorite month of the year. <gasps> No, I want to sing about it. I love July, you want to know why? I love July, you want to know why? It's because July is the month where you can play outside, eat homemade ice cream, and do all the fun summer things. But it's also when we celebrate Christmas in July. Have a holly jolly Christmas. It's the best time of the- It is the best time of the year! Some of you are probably thinking that it doesn't feel like Christmas time, and that's okay. It doesn't have to feel exactly like Christmas time to celebrate it. That's what Christmas in July is all about. It just takes a little extra faith. Faith is trusting in what you can't see because of what you can see. Take Christmas presents, for example. Even though we can't see what's inside, we have faith that it's something good and exciting because it's from someone who cares about us and wants us to be happy. Like this one is from my friend, Haley. Man, do I wanna see what's inside? Not a problem, just gotta focus all my senses. Maybe I need to focus with an x-ray machine. Yeah. Okay, it's not a real x-ray machine, but it's homemade and it should do the trick. <laughs> Just one thing first. Got it. Now I can see what's inside. Hmm. It's kind of dark in here. This may take a while. Today's story is all about gifts, by the way. Actually, it's about one gift and it's a big one. You won't want to miss it. See you soon. Maybe it's a pair of socks. Or a composition book. Those are kind of black, aren't they? Huh. The Bible. It's 66 books of history, stories, letters, and poetry that fit together to form God's one big story. The epic adventure of how he created us and loves us so much that he made a way to rescue us. As we travel through the Bible, from Genesis to Revelation, 
we discover people who met God and found their lives changed forever. Now, for an amazing story, inspired by the book of Ephesians, chapter 2, verses 8 and 9. Rin grabbed a handful of granola bars from the pantry and tossed them in her duffel as Aunt Dina watched. I don't know if they'll have snacks there. Aunt Dina raised an eyebrow and took a sip of coffee. Is it one of those church camps? I guess. I, I mean, Jess invited me. It's in the mountains. It sounds cool. You're gonna have to shape up, you know. You don't go to church like them. Hey, I don't get in trouble. Rin's aunt grinned and shook her head. <laughs> Whatever you say, hun. Rin's mom breezed in with a rain poncho and handed it to Rin. Come on, Dina. Rin's a good kid, and she's gonna have a great time. There's Jess. You go and have fun. It was a three-hour trip up to Camp Hickory. Jess and her mom chattered away, but Rin couldn't help thinking about Aunt Dina's offhanded comment. I do mess up. A lot. Images scrolled through Rin's head like scenes from a film. The times Rin snapped at her little brother. Go away, Keegan. You're such a pain. That time last week when mom shut off Rin's internet access. That is so not fair. And Rin snuck the password off of her mom's phone. And that exam where she accidentally saw the answer off of her friend's test and wrote it down anyway? I shouldn't have done that. Hey, Rin, we're almost there. Jess's cheerful voice cut into Rin's thoughts. She tried to smile as she looked out out the window at the winding mountain road and high blue sky. Great! Rin's worries haunted her as they checked in and made their way to the cabin. These kids all go to church. They know the right stuff to say and do. Rin glanced over to see Jess struggling with her oversized duffel and backpack. She decided it was time to level up. Hey, let me get that for you. But you've got... I can do it. Rin staggered toward the cabin, hauling both of their bags. Inside, they met their counselor, Sally. Hey there, I think this is all of us now. I'm really sorry, but the bottom bunk by the door is kind of creaky. We usually draw straws to see who will sleep there. I'll take it. What? Oh, well, that's great. At dinner, Rin looked out for more ways she could blot out the memories of her mistakes. They ran out of cherry cobbler. Here, you can have mine. When Sally spilled her water... Oops, I'll just... I got it. I'll run over to the kitchen and get a towel. After dinner, everyone hiked the half mile toward the outdoor amphitheater for the evening gathering. Rin's eyes darted back and forth, looking for more ways to help. Hey, you can slow your roll now. Sally fell into step with Rin, who grinned sheepishly. This is all kind of new for me. <laughs> me too. It's my first year as a counselor. It's just, everyone here has gone to church forever. They've got it all together. <laughs> Trust me, they don't. I don't. But at least they know the rules, the right stuff to do. Rin, you have been incredibly helpful and kind since you got here, which is awesome. But you don't have to do everything perfectly to fit in. At camp? Yeah, at camp, but also with God. That's what this week is about. Having fun and relaxing, knowing that it doesn't matter who you are or what you've done. God totally loves and accepts you anyway. Rin frowned as she hopped over a fallen log across the trail. I lied to my mom last week. Well, own up to it. She'll still love you, and it sure won't change how God feels about you. <laughs> Not to be all churchy, but can I tell you this verse I love? Sure. It's the first thing I read when my friend Carl gave me a Bible three years ago. God's grace has saved you because of your faith in Christ. Your salvation doesn't come from anything you do. It is God's gift. It is not based on anything you have done. No one can brag about earning it. Christ, that means Jesus, right? Yeah, we'll talk about all that this week, but just know you can't work for God's love. He already loves you completely. Whether or not you lie to your mom or take the creaky bunk or give away your dessert. It just feels like, I don't know, I should have to do something. I know, right? But just letting God love you, that's the most important thing. Doing good stuff comes after knowing how loved you are. Rin took a deep breath trying to take it all in. As the dust began to settle, she saw a large campfire ahead with rows of benches. Jess waved. Hey, Rin, we saved you a seat. Rin turned back to Sally. Do you have a place to sit? Go ahead. I'll see you for s'mores after. 
Rin jogged over to the bench where Jess and the other girls from the cabin were sitting. It was a lot to process, but for the first time all day, she felt like she could relax because she knew there was nothing she had to do to fit in. I just can't see it. Can, can you see it? No. Well, you know what I can see? I can see the amazing gift God gave to us. Not something we earned or worked for, <laughs> but a gift God had planned since the very beginning. See, when Adam and Eve first turned away from God, sin entered the world and people's relationship with God was broken. And people were waiting on God to send a savior. And that's exactly what he did. He sent Jesus to die on the cross to pay for the price of our sins. Jesus was God's gift to the world. So it's easy to think of things we can hold and unwrap as gifts, but this gift from God is so much bigger than anything that could fit inside a box. You'd need a really big box. Bigger. 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 Bigger? It doesn't matter if you found the biggest box on the planet. It still wouldn't be big enough. That's because there's no limit to God's grace. He loves you more than you can imagine. There's nothing you could do that would make him love you any more or any less. He sent Jesus so that we could have a relationship with him that will last forever. So the one thing to remember today is this. Jesus is a gift for everyone. When we believe that, it helps us do good things and love others, not because we're trying to earn God's love, but because we already know how much he loves us. And if you're not sure what you believe about God yet, guess what? God loves you so much, whether you realize it or not. It's like God is giving you a Christmas gift. All you gotta do is unwrap it. <laughs> That's the only way to really know what's inside. I'm going to the movies. Merry Christmas, everybody. Wow, kids, what a great lesson we are learning today. Today we're learning all about how Jesus is a gift to everyone. And we're also learning that Jesus gives us grace, that we don't have to work for his love, that he is gracious to us no matter what we've done or no matter what we could ever do, that his love is gracious to us and he loves us no matter what. You know, and I wanna give you an opportunity right now. If you never accepted Jesus in your heart, I wanna give you a chance to receive that gift of his grace and love in your heart right now. If you're ready to do that, repeat this prayer after me. Lord Jesus, come into my heart. Forgive me of my sins. Be Lord of my life from this day forward. I thank you, Lord, for your gift of grace. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Wow, kids, we are so proud of you. If you said that prayer with Mr. Hunter, we want to celebrate you. So be sure to have your parents text the number below, okay, because we want to celebrate you. We are so proud of you. But don't forget to like and share our Facebook and Instagram page at ccnorthpoint.kids. Also, guess what? We are still celebrating BBS all summer long. If you weren't able to take part, you can still take part in it now. All you have to do is sign up. We have the link listed below, so be sure to have your parents sign you up. Well, guess what? That's it for today. Until next time, see y'all soon.